Hello. Hi. It's showtime. I don't think we're ready today, but we're here. It's Karen and Tim. I'm Tim. I'm Tim. <laughs> we are going to make some gorgeous it's, cards. Here's just a little preview of the kind of thing we're going to do today. But it's Tim and Waldo. <laughs> but first, where's Waldo? <laughs> the shirt. It's a Waldo shirt. This is a Waldo shirt. <laughs> is it? Is this what Waldo wears? Yeah. Okay, we're starting with story time today. I uh, <laughs> did you notice my new shirt? I, you know, because I dress in a uh, hot pink a lot. <laughs> no, she just, this is just this is just so fun. Uh, my personal shopper has been added again, Sally, and, and she Sally Anderson, who may be on here. <laughs> We've been friends forever, and she knows me well. She sent me this shirt and a couple of others that totally look like me. This does not look like me. And this is just hilarious. This is the card she sent to go with it. Is this amazing? Yes. Gotta read it. I gotta read it. It is that stamp that says, be as bold as your lipstick. She crossed out lipstick so it's and put in husband. So be as bold as your husband. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> we thought, is that hilarious? <laughs> that is just a, per a perfect thing. So we had to put that on here. So I thought that was just inside. Is there some um, other message? It says, oh, life is short. And, so, and buy the shoes is what it is. And she'd really know I'm not into shoes. But so she crossed out buy and put wear and crossed out shoes and did shirt. Life is short. Wear the shirt. <laughs> and uh, I think this is an awesome idea of taking a stamp set and making it what you want it to be. I think that that is just hilarious. So very personal. Um, Sally you, and Sally. I go way back. We each have five kids. We met when our kids were young and um, they moved away when our kids are still fairly young, but we have just stayed close friends forever. So I said, it's just been so fun to do this. Anyway, that is pretty hilarious. I love it. Okay. Um, and then we have one more gift. <laughs> This is kind of um, gift time, so I think. So how fun is this? This is from, whoa, this is from <laughs> Kathy Shikatani, who is in my, she was on my team, so she's in my downline. Cute, cute bookbinding card. Is that just cute with that paper? That is so fun. And she sent this amazing gift. I'm going to put this down so we can look at it. I haven't it. even opened it. I'm calling it amazing um, because I just know it will be, I'm assuming. Okay, I'm going to move this stuff away. And Tim, do you want to do the honors? <laughs> How about I take that part off and you yeah. do the rest? Okay. <laughs> it is so fun. Okay. <laughs> Mary. This is Mary on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice little box. He's being way too slow. Okay. <gasps> Oh, is that cute? <gasps> that an ornament. Oh, you guys, this is adorable. This is on a close out of me. It's not being continued. It's that what, what we were talking about, the cloche dies, right? If I'm right, um, it looks like a bell. Does that make the cutest ornament? Oh, that is adorable. Thank you. That is just a really, really fun idea. <laughs> that is great. Okay, and then of course we like to start with. We've got mail, um, but yes, Tim, but but Karen and I had this great idea. We only have three cards today. Three cards. Why? It's the holidays. Why don't we have more than three cards? That's because all of our all of the rest of the cards, <laughs> all the rest of the cards are. Christmas cards. We have a really and fun stack. We have a huge stack. And Tim opened them to see which were Christmas cards yep. and which were not. Because we want to do next Thursday just Christmas cards. Yeah, we're going to do just the cards we have from you guys so we can settle in and talk because it's the day before Christmas Eve. So, you know, we're all going to be kind of getting ready for Christmas. So we'll just be kind of chatting time and sharing cards. So just letting you Christmas know. Christmas So Eve we only have three to Eve. show today, but that's because we're holding out here. So let's look at these three. This is Janet Fredericks from Louisiana. Oh, how pretty. Your friendship feels like home to me. Isn't that a great thing? This was the celebration from last year. And is that pretty how that's colored in? Oh, yeah, that is a beautiful is. card. Done with the blends. How fun. 
Oh, it's a gorgeous card. Thank you, Janet. And then, oh, yeah, Rebecca says, that'll be fun next week. Yeah, we love just talking. I'll just talk about you guys and share some Christmas stories. That'll be fun. I got two cards from Donna Griffith, who is on staff at Stampin' Up. She has the Midwest thing. And she, she's so sweet. She always sends she cards is. for things. So it's just so fun to get them. She had her it's husband pretty in card. Suite. Yes, we spent time with them when we went out for our million dollar trip. They invited us our last day there since we didn't get to the airport till have to be there till later they invited us over to their house we had lunch it was just wonderful and when was this two years ago two exactly years ago, right now how amazing I how we had no idea what was what was Come ahead on. and this is for reaching 1.3 million now in sales anyway that's cool and then she sent a second card for earning the incentive trip you know, probably most of you know the incentive trip was canceled this year from Stampin' Up! It was going to be a cruise, but just with COVID. Oh, I love this. I love how That's this beautiful. card is done. That is really pretty. And this was just to say congrats on that. And we could be <laughs> on this trip together. But what a fun style of a card. Oh, that is really awesome. Okay. We've, we've been in their beautiful house, and I can just watch her sitting at the kitchen table Writing out these cards. Karen, yes, yes, I did. Yours just went out. Um, I will, uh, it's just a, a side note there. So let me then look at just a couple of other things. We have a, a new sentence for our game thing from Connie Davison, she goes, who is a bus driver, by the way. So this totally fits for bus driver. <laughs> uh, uh, Crossing, a crossing railroad with 673 kids. <laughs> okay, Ooh, there's a nightmare situation that to me. Is a big bus. And you guys, this is this is funny. I just <laughs> are oh the winner for last week's. This must be oh no, I do have a winner for this week. This week is this is Rita Schaefer. So Rita, you can just tell um message me your address. And we have an amazing, you guys, I think these gifts, like this fits into a gift too. So I, to put name on this or just sit oh, I will put, I'll put my name on it, but okay. this is this gorgeous card from Julie Tweet and uh, with a strip card for Christmas. And she said she had a gift for me to pass along. You guys are amazing. So this is going to be our amazing thing for this because she said she ordered two by mistake. It is the Tasteful Labels dies. They are my most use dies. Actually, the plastic of all this is on. So let's just look at them. Look, these, I love these. If you haven't gotten these yet, oh my goodness, you're going to want this. This is an amazing gift to be giving out. They are current, but since I'm re-gifting what she gave back to me, you guys are just amazing. So thank you, Julie. That is going to be the drawing for next week. And you just have to be involved to be in it. We love sharing i to put that there so I remember her name. So that is awesome. And then um, paper shares. I just want to say one thing. Paper shares. Uh, those of you who are on my mailing list got the email today. I sent out eight different little gift ideas. If you got that, tell me if you liked some of them. So these are all just different things. I don't put these anywhere else. And tomorrow, we're just sending out a quick email with the link. The link will be up for the paper shares. Uh, and you guys, they'll be on my website too. The, the link isn't quite ready. That's why I'm just saying this. Uh, we do paper shares in two ways, four by sixes with base cards. For those of you that like to do that, we talk about the pros and, uh, of each. If you aren't someone who has lots of different card stock, you get all this variety to use them for. And then we do six by six. And the reason I wanted to talk about six by sixes is, you know, I leave my paper share is an extra. I leave six by sixes like this in a basket. So when I'm looking for things to experiment with, I have my paper just handy. I have one of each paper pack. My next All Good Cards class is going to be all kinds of ways to use your six by six papers. And of course, they can be your six by six paper packs or they can be 12 by 12s that you've cut into six by sixes. Sometimes I think it's fun to just think we can have them all organized, all these ideas. If you're ever at a loss for things, they're going to all be there. It'll be so fun. Today, I'm going to share you one of them because I like to do uh, sneak peeks on things too. So, and this is where I'm just not very organized, but you know, we're going to just start. So I am going to take, if you have your paper along to work with, 
find my different piles here. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to do this one. So I'm going to do my six by six. So you're going to grab yours too, and we are going to be cutting it at three and three quarters. I do have. Tim, did I put it out here? I do what have. Um, oh yeah, I do. I do have these to show, but I'm, I'll show these afterwards. You can do a screenshot. It'll also be on my blog tomorrow. But for right now, just enjoy cutting with me. I think that's easier as we move along. Okay, so we're going to take this and we are going to cut at three and three quarters. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to trim this to five inches. And I'm going to set that aside. Now, this is what we're going to use for our card. So this was three and three quarters. I'm going to cut it down to two and three quarters. Are there demonstrators in Holland? Oh, we do have over there. And, oh, and we have, oh, you guys, this paper. Is this paper amazing? And it's got the windmill. Oh, it's just yeah. some amazing things. It looks I just hard. want to go down to Pella, Iowa. And yeah. do some things down there with this. I think we've got to fit that in. So now we have these two pieces. Now we're going to take the bigger piece. We're going to cut off one inch at the bottom. So it's, we're going to cut it at four. And you want to know something really wonderful? It doesn't matter if you're a little off on these measurements or if you choose to make your own. You watch how I'm just going to build this. Actually, let's put it on here so you can see. You just see this being built. And then I have this piece, and I'm going to cut off one and a half inches at the top. Just so it's a little asymmetrical. Ooh. Now, how cool is that? I was wondering what you're going to do with all those pieces. I like so it's this. a little bit. And, then and none of the tulips are upside down. <laughs> I know. Uh, this, uh, yeah, anything can happen. We yeah. know that. Uh, I should probably get a little bit yeah, right there. And I'm going to build this. And let me see if you put it in up there. Down. <laughs> she didn't. He's trying to. She didn't he's trying to for trick me. Okay, I'm gonna put that one on. And I'm gonna put this one. On. It's almost like looking looking through a window pane or something like that. Mm -hmm. This is gonna go down here, and this is gonna be up here. So here's my base card. I like to decorate my journals, and so I put something on one this morning, but I. I asked Karen to put it on because I always put it on crooked, but this is why she can put it on. So he, he he's not sure if he can do this. I'm oh, going to have him do one, but no, I no, said, no, you no. know, it's, you know, but it's okay if it's Kenny Wampus. I'm going to put that little extra piece on the inside. So that makes our little finishing touch. My window touch. pane will be warped. And then we have this, and this is how I'm going to decorate my envelope. Now, I don't necessarily want this going this way. So I'm going to show you a way we can do this differently Ooh. later. But also, what's really cool is to use the flip oh, side. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I am going to... Oh, thank you for sharing, Kay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is just stunning, stunning paper. Uh, I think I have all mine used up. We could pre-order as demonstrators. No, I can't get any more. So I've used up what I had. I've got to order more. <laughs> I have to order more of this. I have a second one here. Let's see if this one. Let's see if this one has, has some in it. And I put that oh, down. That, Whoa, oh, no, oh, that wow. one a little too. But I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna put it right along the top there. And I like to go kind of all around with this. And then I'm just going to put some in the middle there. It'll spread you out. Need some Kleenex. Nope, nope, I will be just fine. So now I'm going to take this strip and I'm going to use this part. Now I like to take this and kind of close it up a little. If I try to put it on just that way, I found I get it a little off. And so I'm just going to close that up at the top. Get that on. Now I can open it, press it down. So this is such a cool way your six by six Fussy, paper just cut this. allows that. Yes, and I'm going to cut around this. I like your scissors with the jingles on it. Yeah, what are you using? I'm using an old. Thing? I'm using an old one because my glue is still wet, oh. and I don't want to gunk up my nice yeah, scissors. I oh. actually do 
have a plan there. <laughs> <laughs> but how cool is this? And then I'm just going to add um, some words. So I'll show you what I'm at afterwards. But doesn't that just make love a it. lovely display? So I was going to show you here is one that I did from the same paper pack. Ooh. And let's see, I think I have. Okay, and this was the back of this paper. Okay, so I have this one done. So see how they're just the same. Um, and I'm going to tell you, tomorrow I'm putting up uh, a, a short video kind of re-explaining this, and I'm going to show 24 cards from one paper pack all made with this to just show how cool it is. You can just mass produce all these cards, and they'll look, they'll be just beautiful. So I put this thinking of you in all the cards, and I don't have them all finished to put on here. But for that, I just wanted to point out, this is the, the double punch with so they're right in right punch the punch we've got the scallop Ooh. background and then that and then i'm using the special moments stamp this is another celebration choice it's <laughs> just gorgeous and this thinking of you on here totally fits but i love having a bunch of different word mm -hmm. sets just, just a card to say you're amazing mm -hmm. thanks for brightening my day i like that so yeah so that's pretty cool so i wanted to show next how tim does it Let's, I know it's just, uh, let's do, I know, let, let's, let's show this. Let's say I wanted this to go sideways because I really want my envelope to match this. So we're going to make this same card, but we're going to make it go this direction. Mm. Okay. And just kind of see what a little bit difference that is. I hope some of you are doing this along with me. Are you talking about the lip? Or no, you're doing the whole card that way. I'm going to do the whole card that way so that I can put this. Ooh. Let's say I wanted to match this yes. and I want it to all go right. Okay. So I'm going to, I, I just have to think through this now because I said it is funny because I'll do this wrong. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I just need to turn it. So now I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to cut off. Okay, so I'm going to go at three and three quarters. I'm doing the same measurements. You're going to hear me do this a couple of times. So you can just cut along with me. Just enjoy. So it's three and three quarters. Setting this aside, you see now this is going to be my envelope that can go that way. Mm. And then this is going to go at uh, five inches. Let's see. And I'll do it this way. I was trying to decide which one I wanted to highlight, which I wanted to show the variety of colors here. It's upside down. So if I do that at five. This will be for the inside of my card. And now I'm left with this same piece like this. So now I'm going to go, this was three and three quarters. I'm going down to two and three quarters. On this one, I'll go into one and a half. And on this one, Okay, I'm already confused. Okay, no, see, you know what's so funny? This is very visual. I had to look at this. So, yes, I want to go off this way. That's yeah, not one. funny. That's <laughs> <I know>. serious. <laughs> but you know how it's just disorienting when you look at things in a different way. So now I just need and we'll see if she does a white card. Work. Yeah, we'll see. And we'll see if I lay these on, if these will be correct now. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is a puzzle, Tim. Yes. I have to pretend <laughs> get that this, this just may not. Okay, this goes like this. And this goes like this. But then we switch these. Uh, we may forget. We may forget this. I think I may. I think I cut them wrong. Okay, I cut them wrong. <laughs> I couldn't even do it correctly. But so mine are going to be a little off-centered right here because I didn't quite get them together right. So we just might can that yeah, idea, yes, but yes. I'll show you a finished card I that I did correctly. No, I'll finish yeah, it later. Fit. I'll finish it later, but that's okay. I will show you. Let's see. Um, hmm. Maybe I don't even have that one out here. I was making so many of these cards, you guys. <laughs> I just started on a roll. So you want me to go look for one? Uh, no, we're going to pretend that uh, you just know it can be done. There's a puzzler for you. <laughs> And then I cut it right. I just have to turn it more. Oh, okay. Somebody told me I shouldn't give up. Okay. Yes. But I don't know where I put it. Tim, should I give up or not give up? I'll put Did it you... over there. 
No, you put it over there. I put it away. Right oh, there. I put it. Yes, you did. I put it out of sight, hopefully out of mind. So okay. if I okay, somebody's going to help. If you. I do it this way, oh, look at that. That okay, but see, it isn't. It is oh, because it would be. <laughs> oh, this is pretty funny. You're right. Thank you, whoever said that. Thank you, okay, whoever said that. Put them on. Put them on. Let's finish the project. Okay. And we'll just put these on. It takes a village. It takes a village. You are right. <laughs> I am going to put this on. <laughs> I think it might take more than a village. No. Is this, am I, no, this I is think, not right. Okay. This is so funny. Yeah, no, this is right. Cause this goes like this. I, I'm good. I really, I am. This is going to go on. Whoops. Right side up. Did I tell you we were having trouble getting organized and ready today? Uh, now you can really see this goes on at our house all the time. Oh, I love it. It worked. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> And the whole point of this was just to say now that you could go either way and then I could do my cover this way. Let's finish it. Okay. You want this one finished yes. too? Okay. And then we're going to go on to something. Okay. Well, let's put this on the inside. The longer, the longer Kim does this, the less I have to do. You might <laughs> run out of time. His time. Now, see, that's really cool though, isn't that is it? Very cool. And you know what? This time I'm just going to put tape across here. It's just that was Having trouble with the other. We're, we're, we're good with that too. And I'm going to put this across. But she's not going to close it this time. She thinks she's going to. Well, I just think it's so fun that, you know, this card makes such a statement. It's just so beautiful. Okay. So. How pretty is that? So I'm going to show these two. These two would be the same. Um, but it's just kind of fun. You can do the opposing thing or you can do a coordinating match thing. And I just think this just makes it so pretty. Kathy says when she's making a card with a directional pattern, she plans and looks and does it so carefully. And she almost does it back with the first cut. It's so frequent. She laugh at myself. <laughs> Yeah, I think what's fun about this cut, if you're using a six by six paper, it leaves you just the right amount to do your your um, envelope covers, which I think is just See, this really is cool. the one without any yeah okay additional things. Yeah, that that's true. So this is what we would be comparing here. I and just I think this just is really ready fun. To, ready to say that I like this one better, but I really I love them both. They are both very nice. And you know these totally patterns. Different. You know this paper is just gorgeous. So now the next way we're going to do this. Okay, here's the same thing, Tim. But now notice ooh, how cool is ooh, this? So I'm going to show. Okay, so this is the one we did. This is like mm -hmm. how we just did it. Now, if you want to add a second layer, this is those those of you who like to add a layer, you'll notice the second layer could be it could be white on white. That's what I was saying in the directions. You know, it's not going to matter. It could be white on another color. It could be another color on white. Mm. Again, you can pull out any colors that you want, and I think these are all. Just stunning. I like um, that. Whoops. And now, of course, um, <laughs> I can't. I, now I can't get out of my. Uh, oh, we are having troubles today. 